Why do you think God put us in slavery? We are the children of Israel. Our God used to always defend us. God ain't, ain't defending us no more. He turned his back upon us. When the Bible says, every man that prayeth or prophesieth, meaning listening to scriptures, reading the scriptures, stuff about God, and you got your head covered um, if, as a man, you dishonor Christ. So what shall you do while your head covered? While the scripture's coming out, huh? Take it off. So what? Take your head off. All praises. Now you are learning the truth of who you are and how we come back to who we are. So why did we go into slavery? So that way you didn't miss everything. Well, why do we go into slavery? What's the reason? It's because what the building cut you up? But listen, 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 listen closely. So, why? Like, you gotta think about it. God is the author of everything, He's the one that's, that's in control of everything. So, it had to be God that made us go into slavery. Why do you think God put us in slavery? Huh? Okay, let's go right back to Deuteronomy. Right back there. This is a key point. I don't want you to walk away. I want you to walk away understanding because it's Black History Month. They all you been hearing about slavery and Martin Luther King and all that. You been hearing about all that this month. This is the reason why we went into slavery. In fact, uh, Jeremiah 16 and 10. That'll make it a little easier. You understand totally. Jeremiah 16 and 10. I love this scripture. It's one of my favorite scriptures because it shows, uh, it shows it's right to the point and it lets you know exactly why we went to slavery. Read what you got. The book of Jeremiah chapter 16 and verse 10. And it shall come to pass when thou shalt show these people all these words and they shall say unto thee, Wherefore hath the Lord pronounced there all this great evil against us? Because guess what? Was slavery a, a, not a great evil? Was that, was that not a great evil? That was a great evil. That was a whole lot of evil upon us, right? So it says, so this is going to be a question next. Why did the Lord pronounce all this great evil upon us? Read. Read. Or what is our iniquity? What did we do to make Lord make, make the Lord want to do that to us? Read. Read. Or what is our sin? What is our sin? Read. Read. That we have committed against the Lord our God. Read. Then shall thou say unto them. This is what we're going to say unto you. This is why we went into slavery. Read. Because your fathers have forsaken me, saith the Lord. God said our forefathers have forsaken him. Even of today. The forefathers of today still forsaken. Just like the forefathers back then forsaken. By what? Read. And have walked after other gods. Who is this? This is a false idol. This white image of Christ. It teach you a whole nother spirit. They tell you what they tell you celebrate Christmas under him. They tell you you can do whatever you want. All you gotta do is say you believe. They told you Sunday worship. That is false. That's worshiping a false God, bruh. For real. So they worship false, it says for worshiping false idols, false gods, read. And have served them. And have served them, read. And have worshiped them. And have worshiped them. And have forsaken me. And have forsaken the one true God. Because guess what? We understand, like we read earlier in the curses, God said, up, keep my commandments, keep my commandments, keep my commandments. Read on. And have not kept my law. Have not what? Kept my law. God is letting you know the reason for all this is because not only that you worship, you worship other gods, but you do not do what I told you. Remember, what is the truth again? Remember I told you what's the truth? The law is the truth. Like it says in Psalms chapter 119 verse 142, the law is the truth. Christ said you shall know the truth, meaning you shall know the laws, and the law is going to set you free. The laws in the faith in Christ is going to set you free. But if our people ain't keeping the commandments, you're going to stay in this condition. Or Jesus Christ is going to come back for the remnant that do keep the laws, and you're going to die in your captivity. You're going to die. You, you got to think about it, bro. All these years we've been in the slavery. 
our people trying to live it up in slavery. This is not even our kingdom. This is not, this this is this position that we put in is to get ourselves right. That's why we was put here for. We ain't put here to live it up. Now guess what? If we start doing what the Bible say at the same time, guess what? The most I will keep a bless us to make sure we are right. You know what I'm saying? We we hey, we need to be okay while we could be okay while we're in captivity. But guess what? Still keeping our mind focused on God and our kingdom to come, right. not living up in this kingdom. I'm telling you. So God said it says our people did not follow His law. Read on. And ye have done worse than your fathers. Guess what? It says we have done worse than our forefathers. Look at our men of today. Our men of today, sag their pants, gang banging, uh, raping women, baby mama, baby daddy. This is not taking care of their children. This is what's going on in a black man's mind of today. They worry about money, drugs, and women. That's what our men of today are worried about. They worry about materialistic things and not trying to serve the Lord their God. That's right. That's the reason why it ain't nothing but more crime on top of more crime, more death on top of more death that's happening to our people. Look at our black women. Our black women whore themselves out. Look at your Cardi B's. They got songs talking about the WAP, embracing they 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 prophets. They got another song that I just heard the other day, something about a throat. Talking about what well, I forgot what uh, yeah, throat baby. Talk about the throat baby. It's a video of she swallowing a real person. Not this, it's, it's symbolic. You know what's symbolic of? You see what I'm saying? This is the type of stuff that goes on in our community. You got Judith chapter 5 and verse 20. I got you. I, I, I heard what you said, soldier. I'll praise you. Judah 5 and 20. Read. The book of Judah chapter 5 and verse 20. Why is all this sin getting pushed up on us? Read. Now, therefore, my Lord and Governor, if there be any error against his people. So this is the white man speaking. This is two nations speaking. Two nations speaking about us. They say if there be any error in this people. Read. And they sin against their God. And if they sin against their God, meaning what? Break their God's commandments. Go against their God. Read. Let us consider that this shall be their ruin. That was going to be their ruin. Out. That was gonna be their ruin. So guess what? If I'm the white man, I know. Hold on, wait. If I put this on this people, and they stay and they sin, that's gonna be their ruin. And they God ain't gonna serve them. We don't. And let us go up, and we shall overcome. But they will overcome us. Read. But if there be no iniquity, but that's the that's the key thing. But this is the flip side. If there's no error in our people. Read. In their nation, let my Lord now pass by. Hey, leave them alone. <laughs> if, they, if there's no sin up in there, leave them alone. Why? Let their Lord defend them. Because our God will defend us. That's who we are. We are the children of Israel. Our God used to always defend us. God ain't, ain't defending us no more. He turned his back upon us. Why? Hosea 5 and 15. This is why the Most High God did this to our people. This is why you will not get no justice today. This is why you will constantly see our people get shot down in the streets with no justice. You're going to constantly see this. Why? Read. This is the book of Hosea, chapter 5 and verse 15. I will go and return to my place. God said, I'm going to return to my place. I'm going to go back to my throne. Read. Till they acknowledge their offense. Until my people acknowledge their offense. Till they acknowledge the false that they did against me. Read. And seek my faith. And then come back and seek him with the Bible. Seek his face. Not listen to what man say. Listen to what he say. Read. In their affliction. As we are getting afflicted and oppressed. Read. They will seek me early. Guess what? The affliction is put there to make us seek God. That's right. Whenever you see our people constantly go through it, it gonna make it's supposed to make people like, dang, why is this happening? I gotta go find God. I gotta figure out why this happening. Right. It's to it's to get our people to get their mind right. That's why all these bad things is happening to our people. So that's the that's one thing you gotta understand. We gotta come back to God and keep his commandments. In fact, I'm gonna give you a commandment right here. Give me first Corinthians eleven verse three. First Corinthians eleven verse three. This is a commandment right here. So now you're coming back to God 
we got to come back to God's laws, statutes, and commandments. Read what you got. The book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 11, and verse 3. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ. So this is the order that God, God got, got it in setting up in play. He said the order of every man is what? Is Christ. It's Christ. So over the man, we got Christ. Read. And the head of the woman is the man. Guess what? That's the order. It's a uh, man, woman, it was Christ, man, and woman, right? And the head of Christ is God. And the head of Christ is God. So it's God, Christ, man, woman, children. Read on. Every man praying or prophesying. So now let's get into the scripture that says, every man that prays or prophesies, the spirit of prophecy is like when scripture's coming out. Because all these scriptures in this Bible is scriptures of prophecy. This is the book of prophecy. So it says, every man that pray up or prophesies, read, having his head covered. So let's say if the scriptures is coming out, you got your head covered, read, dishonoreth his head. So guess what? If, every, if while the scriptures coming out, God said, when the Bible says, every man that prayeth or prophesieth, meaning listen to scriptures, reading the scriptures, stuff about God, and you got your head covered, as a man, you dishonor Christ. So, what shall you do while your head covered? While the scripture's coming out, huh? Take it off. So what? Take your head off. All oh, praises. Right. See? That's what I say. But that's a commandment that, hey, you know what they like, hey, in church they always say, hey, take your head off when you come in. Right. They never told you why. They never tell people, and that's in some churches. I see some churches where you got them old men, we got them, we got them, you know them, them old, them hats right there that hang to the side. They still be a church like that. I'm telling you. But guess what? God said that, look, you ain't supposed to be having your head covered as a man when the scripture's coming out. That's Read. But every woman that prayeth or prophesieth uh -huh. with her head uncovered dishonoreth her head. So guess what? As for the woman, the woman, on the other hand, she's supposed to cover her head. Because why? If she keep her head uncovered, she dishonoreth the man. Remember, it's an order. God, Christ, man, woman. If I had covered, we dishonor Christ. If her head is uncovered, she dishonor the man. You know what I'm saying? It was order. God, hey, God set it up like that. So now you know. But guess what? That was a commandment you was breaking. You didn't even know it. That's why it's very important for our people to understand we got to seek this Bible. Seek it out and understand. In fact, give me that Joshua 1 and 8. Joshua 1 and 8. You got to understand, you got, now that you're coming into this, man, you, you hear all this stuff, like, I never heard this in church in my life. I ain't even go to church like that, but dang, this Bible's real. I got, I got to get into it. I didn't know all this. I'm telling you, bro, this is your history. If you want to know any type of book about your history, it's the Bible. That's the number one book you need to grab. That's the point. Hey, once you leave, hey, well, after the Sabbath, if you ain't got no Bible, go buy one. I'm telling you, bro, especially, hey, King James Version, remember, King James was not a white man, that's what they, what they told you, that what you got people out there telling you he was actually a black man, for real, I'm telling you, man, and we got history books to prove it, read what you got, the book of Joshua, chapter 1, and verse 8, this book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, so guess what, this Bible don't need to depart from you, don't need to depart out of your mouth, this Bible got to be standing on your mind all the time, read, but thou shalt meditate therein, day and night. And that's how it's not going to depart. When you meditate in day and night, meditate in powers on your mind is the Bible. You want to start talking to people. First day you see somebody up there, like, hold on, wait. The, the Bible coming out, his scriptures, hold on, wait. The Bible coming out, why your head covered, bro? That's the first thing going to be on your mind. You're going to start to realize what people are in error at. Why? Because you meditate all day. Read. Read. That thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. And that's the key thing. You want to meditate so that way you can learn how to do everything that is written of, of the Bible. Because guess what? You got people today telling you, oh, you ain't got to do it with the God's commandments. That's done away with. But guess what? When you read the Bible and learn it, you be like, bro, you still do got to keep the commandments. Jesus Christ says that. It's just that, look, Christ came to fulfill the sacrificial law. We don't have to sacrifice no more. That's the law that's done away with. But guess what? The church is going to say, ah, God's law is done away with. I can eat what I want to do. I, I can eat over. I can eat some pork. I can eat all that. Everything is clean under God. Now, all I got to do is believe in Jesus. I can celebrate what holiday I want to. I can mess around from woman to woman. I can do that. I'm telling you, bro, that's all false. Now you're learning that. 
That's why. For it comes from meditating in the scripts. I'm telling you, bro. So this is what you should do. Go get, give me Psalms chapter 119 and verse 59. 119 and verse 59. So now that you're coming to wake up, you're waking up into this truth. This is the steps that you got to take. Read what you got. The book of Psalms chapter 119 and verse 59. I thought on my way. Now, it's like now you're starting to learn a little bit. You're going to learn. I'm gonna, I, I can give you some more too because you, you probably need some more laws that you probably, in fact, I'm going to ask you something. In fact, I'm going to finish this. I thought on my ways. Read. I thought on my ways and turned my feet. And turned my feet. Read. Until thy testimony. Until his testimonies, which is the Bible. Read. I made haste. He didn't, he made what? I made haste. Meaning I didn't waste time. I made haste. Read. And delayed not to keep thy commandments. That's one thing you got to make sure you do. After you learn, I'm like, bro, like, don't waste no time. Be like, oh, man, now you learn. you like, you know how we always say, if you know better, you what? You do better, right? That's what it's got to be. Like, now that you're learning these scriptures, you got to do better. Apply. Do better. I'm asking you something. Do you smoke? Huh? You smoke anything. Weed? Anything. You don't smoke? You, I drive trucks, so you can't do it. I'll praise. I'll praise. Do you got a girlfriend? I'll praise. I'll praise. Do you have sex? Because, hey, bro, that's because brothers have <laughs> Okay, you don't. I'll praise. So see, it's stuff like that you already applying. Because I, I wanted to get on that because, you know, the Bible says in Hebrews 13 and 4, marriage is honorable in all. The thing about our, you got the kids? So you ain't got no kids. See, bro, you, hey, you drive trucks, bro. Hey, look, it's time for you to serve the Lord. The Most High God putting you in a position to serve the Most High, bro. That's what the Most High God got for you. He putting you in that position. You ain't really got none of these freaking battles that some of these brothers got. But I'm telling you, man, I know stuff be on your mind. You know what I'm saying? But guess what? When you're around like-minded men like us, bro, we're going to keep you straight. Because why? We're the children of God. We are the most. In fact, give me Deuteronomy 7 and 6. We are the greatest people on the face of this earth. We are the precious people on the face of the earth. And we are above our people. I know you see us at the bottom right now. I know you see us in the hood. I know you see where we at right now, but this is what God say about us. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 6. Read. For thou art in holy people. We are in holy people. Yes, you might see us being unholy today, but in God's eyes, we are holy. Why? Because we're separate. So, read. Unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God has chosen thee. He chose thee, the children of Israel, read. To be a special people. He said he chose us to be a special people, read. Unto himself, above all people. He said he wants us to be above all people. He chose us to be above all people. Now what? That are upon the face of the earth. I'm telling you, but this is what God is setting up for us. To be the to be the above all nations on the face of this earth. Right now we are not the on, on top because we are going through the curses. You gotta understand, we are in a hellish state. Right now we're in a position that's we're hell just another word for hell is like the bottom. We at the bottom right now. You know what I'm saying? We ain't on top right now. This is not our kingdom. When we get the kingdom, we'll be back on top. But right now, we are in that hellless state because we broke God's commandments and we continue to do them. So now, application comes involved. Read what you got. The book of Nehemiah, chapter 10 and verse 31. And if the people of the land bring wear or any victuals on the Sabbath day. So right now, it's the Sabbath day. You got all these nations selling you stuff on the Sabbath day. It says if any, if any of these nations come bring you any wear or any victuals on the Sabbath, read, read. That we would not buy it of them. That we would not what? Buy it of them. One, another thing you're not supposed to do on the Sabbath is buy. So these three things we name for you on the Sabbath. It's supposed to work, it's supposed to cook, or buy on the Sabbath day. And you know what's crazy? In America, Saturday is what? The busiest day of the week. Everybody breaks the Sabbath day. And not even know better. But now you know better. That's the part. That's the reason why we come out here to wake our people up. Because our people don't know better. We giving them warning. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana. 
Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are our men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth